Okay, I'm going to have another look at EaterCap. I already went over very simple capturing packets and grepping through them. Um, what I'm going to show you today is just refining that a little bit, making your searches a little more narrowed down so you don't capture packets that you don't necessarily need. Um, so we're going to start off sudo EaterCap. We're going to say text mode uh, M, and we're going to do ARP mode. And then I'm going to say interface, ETHO, although that may be different on your computer. And last time I mentioned, we, we did it like this with those uh, forward slashes like that, which tells our computer to look at everything that's coming through the network. And the problem with that is the network's real busy. One, you can slow down the network doing this. Another problem is you might miss some packets, uh, especially if you're using a uh, slower device like a cell phone or an internet tablet that uh, you have EaterCap installed on, it may not be able to keep up with all that the information. So we can narrow it down if we know what computer we want to look at. Uh, we can narrow it down like this. This first number here, the one that ends in dot seven, currently is my Nokia N900, which is on the wireless network here. And then this is the number of my router. So I'm narrowing down our capture to just uh, those two devices, information going through them, which should get everything that my phone is getting because everything should go through the router. So if I hit enter there to start that up, you'll see it start scanning. You'll see this time instead of saying all hosts, it actually gives um, a, the IP address uh, of the devices here. And if I do a search like so, I'll do dogs in this case, you'll see nothing's happening over here uh, because it's ignoring the traffic that's going from my computer to the router. Now, if I flip on my phone here, I can do a search, the same search, dogs, and you can see the information start going through there. And I can click on a link here, and you can see all the data transferring through those. So that's one way to narrow down the search you have going with your uh, Eater cap. I'm going to hit uh, Q to quit that. So that's one way, as I said, to narrow down your search. Now another thing you can do, as we mentioned last time, dash W, we can save all our packets to a file. Oops. Call it test2.cap in this case. Uh, is we can add dash capital Q for quiet mode. Uh, what this will do is now if I hit enter, it's doing the same scan, saving the stuff to the packet, but because of that dash Q, uh, no matter what I'm searching here, it's not going to display all the information up on the screen now. But everything I'm looking at is still uh, getting captured to a capture file here. Um, one reason you'd want to do this is one, it's a little bit clearer to see what's going on the screen. All that information going by live really isn't helping you too much because it's too much information to look at. Another thing, once again, if you're using a smaller device such as a cell phone, internet tablet, having it display all that information on the screen at once can bog down uh, the machine and slow down the cap uh, packet capturing, which can cause you also to miss packets. So doing that quiet mode, it can save faster to a file than it can display it all on the screen, and you're going to want to save to a file anyway. So even though I'm surfing now with my phone, nothing's coming up on the screen. So those are two things you want to look at. I'll hit Q to quit out of that. Uh, another option you have, if you want to see some of the traffic going by, you can hit, uh, instead of capital Q, you can do a lowercase Q, which uh, basically um, does the same thing, but will display some information up on the screen, uh, but just not everything. Just you know, urgent stuff, I would guess I would say. So those are things you can do to better perform your packet capturing. So our next tutorial that I'll do will be on uh, seeing some of the things live uh, that uh, is going through the network as far as uh, images. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more information uh, like this. And have a great day.